When it comes to divine beasts in Zelda Breath of the Wild, the process for dealing with them is always the same. You see them in the distance, complete a few chores and lock a boss battle, then end them afterwards to activate a few terminals and battle a blight. It's a simple setup and it's one that every main quest follows. Yet that made us wonder something, namely what would happen if you ignored all that and tried to reach them early. Would anything interesting happen? Well, since we got a lot of free time and a few glitches on our side, let's find out. Starting with our router, you've probably seen this one since it's the easiest divine beast in the game to approach outside its quest. And if you do, you get flung back by a force field. Sorry folks, no early visits for you here. But before we move on, let's try a few more things. Namely, does the force field always exist? Like say, in the boss battle or once you enter the dungeon? Well, sad to say, yes. In the boss battle it's a bit smaller, but it does exist nonetheless and the same goes after the boss battle. Regardless of when you approach it, you get flung back. So that's Varuta, on to Varudania now. Which is probably the one divine beast no one has ever tried to visit early. After all, you usually can't, there's a magical wind barrier around Death Mountain. But we're not stopped by that, and Wrong Warp takes us straight through. So what happens when you approach it early? Surprisingly, less trouble than with most divine beasts. It doesn't attack, and you can actually stand on it for a short while. However, there are two things to note here. First, since it's constantly moving, you will fall off sooner rather than later. Secondly, you need apparatus storage to not get set on fire here. Varudania is so hot that even the fireproof bonus doesn't work. Meanwhile, in the boss battle, results are varied. If you try to climb up to Divine Beast, you'll get set on fire when underneath it, and void out if you get any closer. However, if you wrong walk to the top of Death Mountain, you can again land on the Divine Beast just fine. Interestingly, the collision here is extremely messed up. With large invisible floors and walls, you can stand on all around this location. Finally, if you try to land on it after the battle, well, something actually kind of interesting happens. Namely, you get teleported into the dungeon. Yep, unlike every other divine beast in the game, approaching Rudania is actually an entrance to the dungeon here. It's pretty neat really, and I wish the other divine beast did something similar. Either way, on to Meadow now. As you've probably seen in other videos, the divine beast doesn't have collision detection outside the dungeon. So, while you can make it up there, you can't stand on it or enter the dungeon. It just physically doesn't exist as a solid object. As for what happens in the boss battle, well, not much. You simply take a bit of damage and bounce off the shield. That's it. So yeah, that's Van Meadow. Nothing too exciting there. And that leaves us with Van Boris. Like Rudania, Naboris actually does have collision detection in the overworld. However, it's not a good idea to try to land there early. Why? Because that deadly lightning attack will hit you shortly afterwards and there's no one on the boss's collision model that prevents you from being hit by said attack. Hell, even the Thunder Helm doesn't block it. So while you can get there early, you can't stay there for very long. And the same goes during and after the boss battle too. Regardless of when you approach it, it will always try to hit you with lightning. This makes it the most dangerous divine beast in the game, and one you should always avoid at all costs. Either way, there are your answers. Each of the four divine beasts acts differently when visited early, and many of them have slightly different behaviour when approaching their respective boss battles. Regardless, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Subscribe to our channel if you want to see more. Then leave your thoughts in the comments below or over on the Discord server today.